ABC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend and were able to try and stay cool out there as it was our hottest day of the year so far in 2018 this afternoon, topping out at 98 here in Lafayette. But for our neighbors to the north, they hit 108 in Shreveport, setting a new record high up there. And all that heat continues to build in across the region and will be slowly working its way down into Acadiana, moving into the new work week. But we do have some changes that will be heading our way beginning as early as later tonight and into our Monday, and that will continue into the mid part of the upcoming work week, but it is still going to be very hot and a little bit on the humid side throughout much of the upcoming work week. Taking a look in the upper levels, we continue to have that upper level high just off to our west, now making its way pretty much over top New Mexico, but that is still sending all that heat our way, producing those very hot conditions that we're dealing with here. But you can see now with a little bit more of a northerly flow in between these two systems, we are getting some drier and slightly cooler air trying to work down in to the region, and that is helping to produce a good bit of cloud cover that is now working over top the air area along with a few very isolated and I don't know if this is actually making it to the ground very light showers up towards the northern portions of Acadiana but if this is making it to the ground it is very light and it is not expected to hang together too much longer but what it is doing is producing a good bit of cloud cover that will be with us moving in from the north throughout much of the day on our Monday and that might keep temperatures a degree or two lower than what we saw this afternoon but we still have that heat advisory in effect for most of Acadiana tomorrow afternoon beginning at noon and lasting until 8 p.m. That's when we do expect those heat indices to be anywhere from 102 to 106. So if you have to be outside again tomorrow, make sure you're taking it easy and drinking that water. We're sitting at a warm and muggy 86 degrees right now, but you can see with dew points up near the upper 70s to lower 80s, it still feels like about 100 degrees outside this late in the evening. And that's another reason we continue to have that heat advisory in an effect. Winds have been up a little bit today out of the west southwest, anywhere from 10 to 15, still hanging on to 10. So that is creating at least some movement in the air, but it's still very tropical to be outside. And you're really going to notice that moving into our Monday. But we do have those clouds working their way over across the area. That's all because a weak front is beginning to make its way down into the area. I think for the most of the day, we're just going to have a good bit of clouds with us and that hazy sunshine temperatures in the low, the mid 90s, but still feeling like about 104 during the afternoon. But as that front begins to make its way a little bit farther to the south around about 7, 8 o'clock, we could get one or two isolated showers, mainly in the far southeastern portions of Acadiana and more over towards New Orleans down the Grand Isle. But I won't rule out one or two here across Lafayette as you do see maybe one just to the low of the L in Lafayette. So maybe we won't completely rule that out, but most of us do stay dry tomorrow. And then as that front begins to make its way out into the Gulf of Mexico heading into Tuesday, we will get a northerly flow that will bring in some slightly drier air. So it won't be as humid come Tuesday afternoon. As you can see, heat indices only up to around 99. So it does look like we back our way out of the triple digits, but still very hot as temperatures will get into the low, the mid 90s by Tuesday afternoon and continue that way into much of the work week. But as mentioned, a uh, slight risk for some severe weather tomorrow evening as that front pushes through down towards New Orleans. It looks like the very southeastern portions of Acadiana, mainly St. Martin Parish, down into St. Mary and Iberia will have that marginal risk. Damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Some small hail and lightning look to be the main concern, but it looks to be on the very low side. So 81 for the overnight low if there's clouds beginning to build in across Acadiana through the overnight and then for your Monday. Still hot and humid, 94, but more clouds than sun with that 20% chance of a stray shower or storm late in the day. And before that gets here, still could see those heat indices anywhere from 100 to 106 during the afternoon. So it will still be very hot and humid, staying hot throughout much of the work week with very little rain chances. So you might have to start getting the sprinkler out and watering the lawn a little bit or watering those plants because it's not going to bring much relief. And we really don't see any rain until maybe the weekend or into next week. All right. Thank you, Eric.